people don't read my stuff. On Facebook, this guy, he was maintaining that dispensationalists are the only ones who saw significance in Israel becoming a nation again. And they have a plan for Israel. The only yeah, plan okay, they, they, and I said, well, it's obvious you have read what I've written about it or don't, don't know the history of all of this. Long before dispensationalism came around, post-millennialists had a significant role for Israel to play in eschatology. Wow. Lots of them believed that Israel would come back to the land, would, 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 would come back to the land and that you, Jews in multitudes would come, would, would come to Christ. Dispensationalism messed the whole thing up with their particular view. We don't they say that, they run things right now. Well, they, well not for long. So, but there was, there was always this view, you go, you go back to the reformers, you go back to the Westminster Confession of Faith, hey. you go back to the larger catechism, question 191, it talks about how in the future, Jews are, will come to Christ. That's post-millennialism. Dispensationalism has two-thirds of the Jews being slaughtered. Because they rejected Christ. According to dispensationalism, the prophetic time clock stopped at, at Pentecost. The Jews rejected Jesus as the Messiah, and so the prophetic time clock for Israel stopped, and the fulfillment for Israel won't take place until after the rapture. Right. So now we're about 2,000 years into this parenthesis where God is not dealing with Israel right now. That's their view. And God is dealing with this thing called the church. And then when the rapture takes place, God will deal with Israel again. Right so 2,000 years, yeah. God's gonna deal with Israel again, his beloved people, and then he's gonna let two thirds of them be slaughtered during the great tribulation. That makes absolutely no sense at all. And you, and you read some of the works, Jack Van Empe, Charles Ryrie, Israel's greatest bloodbath is gonna take place during this this, this future tribulation period. So what's, what's gonna happen? What's supposed to happen? Well, my mind, according to the Bible, the whole world is gonna come to Christ. Maybe not, every, maybe not every single individual, but there will be a time when the gospel is so fruitful in the world that you're gonna see Islam l lose its force in the world. They'll, re they'll reject it. You're gonna see Mormons reject it. You're gonna see Jews finally coming to realize that Jesus is in fact the Messiah. So you think everything's gonna get better? I believe that if we are about our work that we're supposed to do, we will see a transforming effect in our society. It's only gonna come about by transforming people from the inside out.